This is a quick guide for getting you started with a new SIM card. Every cellular network provider will have different SIM card activation requirements, but if you follow these common steps, you should be able to enable your SIM card for use in the Mercari device. Check our website where you made your purchase to make sure your SIM card and network provider are compatible to use in the Mercari device. You'll need to obtain a SIM card from a cellular provider, and please make sure your SIM is voice, text, data, and is VOLTE capable. Most new SIM cards have these by default, but you may wish to check it's all enabled on your account before you start. You may need the network provider to activate the SIM card for you, or you may be able to activate it yourself by following the steps on the SIM card packaging. Please ensure you have credit on your account. While many networks will have SIM cards that will work in the devices as soon as they have been activated, some SIM cards may take a little work to get set up. So if you follow my process, you should be set up in no time for all SIM cards. You will need to set up your new SIM card using a modern smartphone that is capable of VOLTE or Voice over LTE. Have this function enabled on the cell phone before you start. This setting should be somewhere within the network connection menu settings on your phone and most likely on by default already. If Voice over LTE has been enabled, you will see a VOLTE icon at the top of your screen. Insert your device's new SIM card into the smartphone and follow any activation steps that are required by your network provider. These should be listed on your SIM card packaging. Once activated, set up your voicemail. We would suggest making a message that says something like, This is Grandma's alarm. Do not leave a message. Please keep trying my number until you reach me. After your voicemail has been set up, make a call to someone you know. While the call is taking place, check the icons on the top of your cell phone screen. You should see an icon that shows VOLTE while the call is in progress. If you see the VOLTE icon, you can then test the texting function by sending a text message to someone. Once the voice and texting function has been tested as working in your cell phone, you then place the SIM card into the device. Just make sure the device is turned off when you insert your new SIM. To insert your SIM card, unscrew the three screws on the back of the device and pry open. Once opened, you will see the SIM card holder in the lower portion of the device. Just above the SIM holder, you will see a SIM card icon with two arrows, one pointing left with the direction of open and the other to the right as lock. To unlock the SIM gate, gently slide the gate towards the left, same as the open directional arrow on the casing. You'll feel it click, and you will then be able to open the gate. Once opened, simply slot your SIM card into place. The SIM card will only fit one way, but take some care not to damage the pins within the holder. Also note that there is a tiny angled slot in the SIM card holder that will match the shape of your new SIM card. The SIM card will fit snugly into the holder. Once in position, close the gate and slide towards the right, the same direction as the lock arrow until you feel it click. Do not force the gate. If there is resistance, you will need to check your SIM card in position. After you have locked the gate, you can close the device and reinsert the three screws. You can then turn on the device and begin your programming. You program your Mercury device by sending it coded text messages from your own cell phone. See your electronic manuals for more information. Above are pictures of the SSIM card installation for your reference.